And looking ahead, holiday shopping continues on the border with Black Friday happening tomorrow. And it's no secret, this brings a lot of activity to the local economy. Mexican authorities in Ciudad Juarez are telling us this season will alleviate some of the losses that Border Commerce saw with the recent surge of migrants. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent, Ediberto Perez, joins us live with the story. Ediberto. Paul, as you just said, the borderland will have a busy weekend starting today and tomorrow with Black Friday. Residents from both sides of the border are expected to start or continue with their holiday shopping. And Paul, this could boost our economy ahead of the start of 2024. Entonces el hecho de que vengamos, vengamos de un buen fin, que el día de mañana venga lo del Black Friday, hay movimiento en las... The vice president of Maquiladoras and Border Stripes said, the fact that we are coming from El Buen Fin in Mexico and that tomorrow is Black Friday, it's good because of the activity we see at the ports of entry. He also said we are privileged to live on a border area, but it can be a struggle when international bridges are closed. In the last months, we saw a delay of commercial crossings that affected the area's economy. Commerce is recovering from those economic losses with good weekend sales in Mexico, Black Friday in the U.S., and the continuing holiday shopping. El comercio juarense o las empresas juarenses cada vez están batallando más. Salayandía said Juarez commerce and businesses south of the border are struggling with more people shopping and consuming in the U.S. lately. This is due to the value of the dollar dropping this year. Juarez and Mexico residents are buying more dollars and spending more of their money in the U.S. Businessmen like Salayandía are still expecting a rough start to 2024 in the border's economy just like the start of previous years. But right now, it will hit the border's economy more due to the losses commercial businesses and maquiladoras had in 2023. And Paul, Vice President Salayandia also told me the Mexican economy has been more impacted with the recent changes in exchange currencies, maquiladora businesses, and with the decrease of job hours in Mexico. They expect this to continue over the coming months. Reporting live from downtown El Paso, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you, Heriberto.